the news, nobody takes down any stories to say, hey, we were wrong because they never said he did it. They're gonna say he allegedly did it. What's going on, everybody? So you're gonna have to excuse my voice. I'm just getting over COVID, had it last week, and uh, I'm back able to record and give you guys um, some, some, some content. So today I want to talk to you about how perception really can shape reality. A lot of people bring that up in a positive way saying, oh, well, if you believe you can do it, you can achieve it, blah, 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 which is good. And I, I agree with that. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about it from another perspective. So we live in an era today where the perception of somebody forms that person's reality. I'll give you an example. If somebody is accused of some sort of harassment or misconduct at work. Our, our society is so uh, clickbait, headline hungry that we never go down and, and do our due diligence to find out, okay, what does this mean when you find out so-and-so allegedly blank, blank, and blank? We see it on presidential campaigns. We see it on people that are athletes. We see it on everybody um if if you are found with allegations of some sort of misconduct right you are automatically viewed as you must have done xyz so I came across this video and it, it, it really puts in perspective what we're talking about here. So I'm gonna play this video, which kind of gives an example of what I'm talking about here. So you've got Jalen Ramsey who played at Florida State, and he talks about an event that made headlines that kind of goes into the topic of what we're talking about right now. So let's play it. We would, we know how it is. You, you know, the, the city show love, like you go to a restaurant, they might comp your meal or whatever like that. Oh, I'd have been a restaurant killer. Oh yeah, we was, we was for sure. You know, you go to, you go to- <laughs> They seen you all, hey, come again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think I'm jailing again. Nah, they was, they was, it was love though, but you know, just like, uh, remember, I don't know if y'all remember, it was years ago now when I was in college and Jameis was in college with it. And Jameis had just won the Heisman. Yeah. You know I mean, and then uh, that little video came out. They tried to say Jameis was still a crab list from the public. Y'all remember that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jameis was. <laughs> he was home. Yeah. He, he was home. We, he wasn't still in the first. Oh, all, he so went. he stole some for you too. Nah. <laughs> See, he like, he had <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna pause it really quick. So, you see how he literally just shared this story about how people would give them stuff, and he literally told them right here that Jameis was given these crab legs, right from this from the store, and. Because it is already programmed in your mind to say he stole them. Everyone said he stole them. So if you say it enough times, it makes it true, right? It, it clearly, he literally just told them that and their mind literally went back to, oh, so he stole some for you too. Even though it's a joke, whatever. At the end of the day, that is still the mentality. That's still the mindset. Let's see what he says after this. No, he, he has no, no, he has no. nobody stealing crab legs. We had they they were showing love on the crab legs. Wasn't nobody stealing no crab he legs. Just took a couple. He ate a whole bushel. The last I heard, we were in a place where you were innocent until proven guilty, right? So once people hear these allegations, allegation means apparently somebody said. It doesn't mean it's been proven that blah, 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 right? And so it's just crazy to me how in this era of information and research and, and the information age, we can be so easily misled to have access to so much information, but we'll settle with the headline or we'll settle with the thumbnail. And then we'll just believe whatever we come across as well, that's the end of the story. That is that I, I'm done. And you know, it's, it's very uh, disheartening to see because anybody can end up in what's known as Google jail. Let's just say you allegedly robbed a bank. They put all these articles out. These articles say that you, you are a suspect for a crime and you allegedly robbed this bank. And then it finds out later you were innocent. 
So you didn't have to pay any fine. You didn't have to go to jail because you were innocent. The judge and the, the jury and the lawyers and everyone in the court knows oh, he's innocent. So he goes free. But the news, nobody takes down any stories to say, hey, we were wrong because they never said he did it. They're going to say he allegedly did it, knowing that the majority of the population are not intentional enough to say, oh, they said allegedly. What does allegedly mean? Allegedly means maybe, <laughs> you know? And so it, it, we miss that kind of stuff. And so once we label that as boom, this person stole this, this person did this, this person committed this crime or whatever, their new reality is even though they did not do it, <laughs> even though they were found innocent in the courtroom or whatever, their reality is they are still living as a criminal because people still treat them like a criminal. And it's crazy that, like I said, that we live in this kind of society that does that. So make sure that when you come up in your mind of a conclusion of someone or something, make sure you do your due diligence instead of just reading thumbnails, headlines, and then saying, okay, I already know the whole story because I read half of a sentence that was in a headline or I saw a thumbnail because in reality, the same thing could happen to you. Just make sure that your perception is accurate. And that goes with people that you idolize as well. Look at their actual life and see, okay, have they actually been in this situation? If they're gonna be talking to you about success and all this kind of stuff. Have they ever gone from a situation where they were really here and they moved to this place, no matter what it is, to where they can actually teach you what it takes to get to this place? Or are they somebody who had a lucky break with uh, this person or that person and then now, uh, well, they've got so many followers, so what they say must be true. So. Just make sure that uh, you're, you're really looking at your information through the right lens and not putting someone's reality as something that isn't reality. And just make sure that your perception, whether good or bad, lines up as accurately with reality as you can. Because the closer you are aligned with the truth, the better decisions you'll make and the better off you'll be. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to share, like, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel and it's the first time you're tuning in with us, welcome and check out everything we've got to offer. We've got vlogs, meal plans, workouts, and motivational messages from myself and others. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.